Hi guys, it's Nez. 30 day challenge, day 15, you're halfway, well done. I've got a super quick video for you today about a Web 2.0 service called Propeller. You can get some fairly decent authority backlinks from Propeller if you use it correctly and I've got a super quick video to show you how to do it. So stick with me and we'll get straight to it. As I said in my little intro there, this will be a very quick video. You've spent all of Web 2.0 week for the 30 day challenge in the more than capable hands of Caro and Michelle, so there's quite a few things you won't need me to go over again. Uh, first and foremost is signing up for an account with Propeller. So you go to propeller.com, click on the uh, sign up button, and you'll be presented with Facebook Connect, Twitter Connect, OpenID, things like that. So you can use one of those accounts to actually sign into Propeller. But for the purposes of optimizing the account for your theme keyword, you want to create an account. So click on the create one button and you'll be presented with the uh, e email address, member name and obviously a capture if you're like me, you have a 50% success rate with. Now I'm not going to take you through this process because it's fairly self-explanatory and there's no point in you watching me do it. When you choose your member name, as Michelle has suggested a few times this week, try to get a member name that will mostly resemble your theme keyword as best you can. And I'll pause this video briefly and I'll show you the Propeller website. Once you've created your Propeller account, you'll be able to log into the system. So I have logged in with our 30 day challenge account, so everything looks the same. Now the three main areas you're interested in for Propeller are the front page, which is basically whatever the most popular stories for the week have been, or now, today, and this week. But the two things we really need to look at is categories and submit. Categories is what you will choose for your micro niche, so pick the most appropriate category there. And the place where you'll be spending most of your time in Propeller is the submit button. Every time you create a blog post for your new blog, you will get a un unique URL, and you can put that URL into this little web address bar here. Now in the 30 day challenge we actually submit each day's training to Propeller as a separate URL. Now day 14 I've already submitted that but if I take that URL and attempt to put it into the Propeller system it will come back and let me know that it cannot be added because it's already there. And you'll see that it says this story is already in our system so we can't use that one which is fine. Now what we haven't added yet is the actual blog from the 30 day challenge which is a separate URL again so I'll grab that URL go back to propeller I'll click on my submit button so we're back right to the beginning again there's the URL and I'm going to go submit now propeller will go off and check to see whether it's actually had this URL submitted before it will discover that it hasn't and we can add the extra information we need to in order to submit it now sometimes Propeller will think, hmm, might already have this story. So you can scroll down the page, have a look, and see if any of the stories that have already been submitted are related to your actual URL. And you'll generally say no, so you can say continue submitting. There's your information. Now the story title is automatically generated by them. If you are wanting to make the title more specific to your theme keyword, you can put in something more relevant, which you obviously will want to do. All I'm really going to do is change it to blog, 30 day challenge blog. That's my hobbit like fingers on the keyboard again. And it's actually taken uh, the first sentence of text that it found at the top of the page, which was the most recent blog post, which was about day 14. So we don't really want to use that. And this is an area where you can actually add a little bit of keyword optimized content yourself. So keep that in mind when you are actually doing your submission. I'm just going to call this the official. 30, I should really learn how to type quicker, 30 day challenge blog. Now obviously I'd normally would write a lot more than that, but this is just for the purposes of demonstration. You'll actually take a couple of uh, snippets of your article content and put it in there in the most appropriate way. And it also tr intelligently tries to pick out some user tags for you so that you have the most appropriate tags for your phrase and you will obviously be wanting to use your theme keyword and your category keywords and whatever's relevant for your article to make sure that it's the most visible. So all I'm really going to do is put in the most relevant things to the 30 day challenge. My hobbit like fingers really uh, are a problem for me sometimes but that's okay. Now with propeller tags what you actually have to keep in mind too 
is that each tag is separated by a space, not a comma. That's important. If you don't do that correctly, then it will obviously have an issue with uh, the correct propagation of your tags. And I'll put in Ed Dale, Guru Bob, whoop, and Dan Rain. Now, obviously, these aren't the most effective tags I could be using because the words 30, day, and challenge are all being seen as separate things. So you need to keep that in mind when you're actually choosing what you're actually doing with your tags. And down the bottom, we have story category. Now I'm going to go with science and technology because that seems to be the most appropriate for us and you can choose a photo. Now Propeller also automatically prepares a list of possible suitable photos for you and if you don't think that anything is suitable I'm actually going to choose a Mac given that everybody in the 30 day challenge team are all Mac lovers and Mac users and then I'll preview my story. And there we go. It's checked out, looks like it's okay, and I will approve and submit, and that is entirely it. And once your story has been put in, it actually gives you a shortened URL that you can then off Twitter to your friends and things like that. So, pretty good. And you can actually see that it, it integrates into Twitter and Facebook, which is fantastic. Now, let's have a look at our story. And there we go. Read the full story at 30daychallenge.com. Now, normally, if I'd written my description, it would appear in there. Now, keep in mind, once you've done your propeller submission, you'll actually have a unique URL for that actual submission, and that is the URL that you will submit to Rank Tracker and Traffic Bug. So there you go, and I will finish off this video nice and quick. Enjoy the rest of the challenge. Web 2.0 week for the 30 Day Challenge has primarily been about article websites and free blogging platforms. We've included Propeller simply for the fact that Propeller has high authority and if used correctly it can actually help you quite a bit with your rankings. One last tip with Propeller though. When you create your profile you actually get a unique URL. If you've been able to use your theme keyword in your profile name for Propeller, add that to Traffic Bug and Rank Tracker. See ya.